More canola growers across Australia are planting hybrid seed than ever before. But what is a hybrid and how is it produced? Let us show you how New Seed produces our world-class hybrid canola seed for Australian growers. So what exactly is a hybrid? Simply put, a hybrid is the first generation of a seed or animal that's produced by crossing two or more genetically different parents. This process is called hybridization and leads to the creation of hybrid vigor. Hybrid vigor describes the superiority and performance we achieve by crossing the two parents when creating the hybrid. So for a canola hybrid plant, its hybrid vigor is assessed by the following attributes. Yield, producing more grain and oil per plant as a result of hybridization. Plant vigor, its strength, health, and overall resilience as it develops. Vegetative growth, the rate and density of growth it displays. Oil quality, ensuring oil quality never wanes as a result, but rather improves. Disease resistance, developing crops with better defences to target pathogens. Unlike open pollinated canola, hybrid seed production requires a mechanism to transfer pollen from the fertile male line to the sterile female line. We use bees to carry pollen from the male plant to the female plant. When new seed begins hybrid production, our focus is on three main factors, risk management, genetic purity, and genetic performance. Once a potential new variety has been identified for commercial release, we begin the production cycle by planting breeder's seed of both male and female lines in pollen-proof cages. When they mature, the plants in these cages are harvested by hand. This seed is called pre-basic parent seed, which in turn is planted in open isolated fields, grown and harvested to create basic seed. This basic seed is then planted into large-scale production fields, grown and harvested, with the final generation being our commercial hybrid seed. So, where do the bees come in? To coincide with the parent lines flowering, we work with apiarists to have hives positioned around the field to do the pollination. Once the female plants are pollinated, the male plants are no longer needed and are mulched to remove them from the field. Then the females are harvested and this seed is the hybrid or F1 seed that is sold to Australian canola growers. Looking back, it's easy to understand why purity at the very beginning plays such a critical role in the developmental success of the final hybrid seeds. The differences between growing a hybrid production crop to growing a regular canola crop vary during the different stages of the process. These include planting. We plant the male and female lines separately so we can remove the male line after pollination. Shielded spraying. Parent lines may have different herbicide tolerances, so we need to use equipment that sprays only some rows at a time. Timing of flowering. We manage the flowering of male and females to happen at the same time. Pollination, facilitated by a high stocking rate of bees. Male plant removal. Once the female seed set is complete, the male plants are removed via mulching, resulting in up to 25% of the field being raised. Harvesting. Only the female rows are harvested at full maturity, with a focus on crop hygiene to deliver high quality seed with good germ and vigour. The harvested hybrid seed then goes through a strict QA protocol and is cleaned, treated and packed before being shipped to our customers. So that's how New Seed delivers its hybrid seed production and how we deliver value beyond yield to our canola customers. Mm -hmm.